Tell me how, why you're emulating Rob Ford. Go for it. Well, you know what? A Rob Ford would normally be an unlikely person for me to be emulating. But one thing I always loved about how he campaigned is that he was so responsive. He insisted that when you phoned, it was going to be him who picked up his phone. He dropped everything else, and that's what I do. When somebody calls in, I drop what I'm doing. I'm going to talk to those real people. And I think that Saskatchewan people are tired of the same old, same old. They want to know that politicians are there just for them and ready to listen to their concerns. I am that person. Just this morning, I had a fellow call me from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and we chatted for a good hour on my way down to the returning office at Melville Salt Coats, where I was personally fixing problems for my candidate there. That's the kind of politician I think is it really emulates the Saskatchewan spirit. Wow. Tell me, how has it been? Are you picking up some disenfranchised, disillusioned NDP voters? I have found, I mean, I have been a federal Green Party of Canada candidate, and now I'm leader of the Saskatchewan Green Party. And no, you know what I find is absolutely amazing is that the Greens tend to find voters who are disillusioned voters. I end up with a lot of people who don't necessarily vote at all, but they will be so um, impassioned and suddenly find their belief in the democratic process after talking to me. And these are people who make up that 40% who normally don't vote. So I'm actually encouraging non-voters to show up. I've also had people who tell me they would normally be a conservative voter. I've had liberals on my team. And yes, I have had crossovers from the NDP. But really, you can't define the Greens with any one traditional voter because what we are is we're a party that, that really encourages grassroots democracy. It's more about the individual. Um, as the famous John Turner, former Prime Minister of Canada, who just passed away, he was a real belief in the fact that instead of voting along party lines, people needed to be voting for the person. I encourage Saskatchewan voters to look me up, find out about me and my incredible candidate, and you're going to want to vote for people who are relatable, for people who you can actually feel like, when I reach out to that person, they make sense to me. That's the kind of candidates I have. Amazing. So tell me what kind of issues besides the environmental ones that the Green Party is including in its platform that are appealing to people at the doors. People at the doors are absolutely surprised because, of course, they do equate uh, me and the Greens with a very strong stance on especially the climate and other environmental issues. And actually, we have the strongest social platform of any party in Saskatchewan right now. We, um, we are calling for a universal basic income. I feel that the left in Saskatchewan has been calling for a $15 minimum wage for so long that it's time it was 22. Anyone I know who's making minimum wage, it's always said, well, um, you know, minimum wage should be the bare minimum to live off of. All my friends on minimum wage need two or three part-time jobs just to barely scrape by. I'm calling for a universal basic income, much like the CRB that we just saw the federal government have. But unlike the CERB, it was like a, a leaky boat that Justin Trudeau had to get up every day and as he was bailing frantically to show us where the new hole was, <laughs> hey guys, it looks like I forgot seniors, you know, the most important people in our society who've worked their entire lives. And now I haven't actually put anything in the CERB to look after them. Then he get up another day. Oh, I've seen some forgotten students, better fix that. Well, I'm proposing a relief system that would cut away the fat, a guaranteed basic income, gets rid of the high administrative costs, make sure that instead of people being paid to oversee, double check, and basically penalize those who are in a position where they're forced to ask for help, everyone gets aid who needs it, there is no um, shaming people, and instead, the money is actually reaching those who need it. Again, um, very grassroots of me, almost Doug Ford again. But that's what the Saskatchewan people want, right? We're the birthplace of universal Medicare. 
moving on from my universal basic income plan. Mm -hmm. Speaking of universal Medicare, my great grandfather actually served in Tommy Douglas's first federal government. Saskatchewan people love Tommy Douglas. He's our national figurehead. But I would say that the original spirit of the CCF is most bold seen right now in me as leader of the Saskatchewan Green Party. I'm calling for bringing in complete universal Medicare as it was first envisioned by Tommy Douglas. I want universal dental care brought back into the you know, Medicare plan. When I was a school child, dental care was actually covered. And it was something that every school child in Saskatchewan had available to them, which is really, really important in poverty issues. When you go to try to get a good job, it's really hard if you don't have a beautiful smile. I want to bring that back and make sure that the oral health of our population is looked after because that really is very important for overall body health. I want to include alternative health services like chiropractic and massage that are needed. But currently, unless you have a group medical plan or some coverage from your spouse, it can be hard to achieve those needed services. I also feel strongly that mental health should be fully funded underneath of our universal Medicare plan. And people frequently say, well, how are you going to pay for this ambitious plan? I would counter back by saying that the cost of not covering these things is much greater than looking after the health of our people. Seniors can tell you, I work with seniors as my day job, and if you don't have your health, you have nothing. We want to be a province that looks after the health of our people and puts the health of our citizens as our highest priority. Mm -hmm. This is something that I feel incredibly strong about. And if we don't look after people's health, they end up in the emergency room where the cost to taxpayers is much higher than just looking after the problem at its root. What is the difference for you when you're doing a provincial campaign versus running in a federal campaign? What uh, Are you seeing any differences uh, besides the size of the ridings that you're trying to deal with? Well, there's a huge difference for me right now because I'm the leader of the provincial party. So instead of just dealing with my one riding, which I did federally at Regina Leuven, I'm currently trying to help in 61 riding. So that's a pretty huge difference right there. I don't think anyone would agree with me that there's um, nothing that can prepare you for that kind of change. And yet I'm swinging with it and feeling like this is what I was born to do. I feel like I found my destiny and it just has not gotten old from all to be able to tell people every single day that I'm the leader of the Saskatchewan Green Party. I would say as well that a big thing for me is that I had originally had all my focus going federal. I wanted to be an MP so badly, but as I've switched my focus to provincial issues, I really feel that my love of Saskatchewan, my, my pride in the people of this province has come through. And I've really realized that this is where I'm meant to be. There's so much more that I can do at home. I'm, completely satisfied with being the leader of the provincial greens and feel that this is what I was meant to do all along. I'm glad you're where you belong. I'm wondering if there's any candidates that you find, like give me maybe five candidates that you think have the best chance uh, of attracting more votes than others. Well, first of all, I, I actually object to um, targeted riding policies in politics. All my candidates are so in incredibly amazing and I'm a mother so I'm pretty protective of them and I would really like you to look into the platforms of every single one of my incredible candidates and I'm prepared to defend them against anyone who might say they're not as good as others. I do feel that of course I'm, I'm very good at math so I have been targeted data analysis of ridings across the province and I can say that there are some ridings where we can certainly expect the Greens to make breakthroughs. Those ridings would be expected to be Saskatoon Centre, Saskatoon Riversdale, Saskatoon Elphinstone Centre where I am running, or sorry Regina Elphinstone Centre, Regina Douglas Park and 
half of Afghan, our corner, west corner. 